Hello, welcome to top 10. Top 10 what? Huh? You said top 10. Top 10 what? <laughs> um, okay, you keep doing it. Number 10. The the feeling of putting on warm clothes fresh from the dryer. Mm -mm -mm. So nice and so warm on this human body. Especially if it's a load of laundry with bed sheets and pajamas, so then you can get warm and cozy in pajamas and blankets. <laughs> Number 9. The hit 2008 reality show that only lasted one season, Farmer Wants a Wife. A dating show that follows four hardworking farmers in search of real lasting love. Watch on Fox and stream next day on Hulu. Andre, what is this list? This doesn't even make any sense. I mean, it's the new year. Maybe you want to make a list of things you've enjoyed from 2023? Shut the fuck up. This is my video. Number eight. That thing when, like, grass is pretty wet in the morning. You know, like, the grass gets wet in the morning under your feet. But, like, only in the morning. And if it's raining, it doesn't count. It's like a natural wetness on the grass in the mornings. Oh, shit. It's dew. Okay. No, yeah, dew. I love dew. Oh, you thought I didn't know Spanish? You fool. I merely wanted you to believe I was inept in the usage of multiple languages. I am, in fact, a polyglot, which means affluent in multiple languages. French is my first language. I took two Spanish courses in university, and I'm basically fluent due to this. I also am on level 6 German of Duolingo, and no, I didn't give up. Even if I did give up, my ancestors all spoke German on my mother's side, so transit property, I speak German. So yes, some may say that I'm a polyglot, and you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Don't believe me? I provide hints everywhere. My name is the most French there is. Look at that accent. That's right. Look, it's right there on the E. It is not my government identification, however, because the citizen place of my home country, Canada, cannot print the accent on legal documents. But it's there. I don't need to speak French to you to prove this. I don't need to prove anything to you. But here's the unedited clip of me saying the line of Spanish to prove it to you. But I'm only showing this to avoid any rumors that I'm a liar, because I am not a liar. Okay, here's the clip. Oh, Dios mío, lo amo tanto. Number seven. The feeling when you're scratching a scratch lotto ticket and you have two of the grand prize symbols scratched already, so you only need a third one to get the grand prize, but there's only one item left to scratch, so you have this like growing feeling of ecstasy that's building inside of your chest, slowly getting bigger and bigger, only for it all to crash down because it turns out that what you scratched the last item to scratch was a free ticket icon, which means you only won a free ticket, and which also means you lost the grand prize, but... You take that ticket to the corner store to redeem the free ticket that you got to restart the whole cycle over again. But this time, you win $50. So you take that $50 and your debit card to the casino and you empty out all the money that you inherited from your great uncle that you met once at the Banff National Park family reunion in 2007 where you impressed him pretty well with your acapella version of Twisted Sisters, we're not gonna take it. So then when you received the 13 grand, most of your immediate family ostracized you and shut you out of the family because they were so pissed that their great uncle made that choice. But you were so grateful and impressed with yourself that your acapella covers of 80s hair metal that you worked so hard on at the age of five actually led to something financially substantial. So you take the 13 grand and the $50 and you put it all on black at a roulette table and then you watch that little ball roll and roll and roll as you let that feeling of ecstasy grow in your chest until you feel like God. Then you end up losing it all, but you don't really realize it because you're completely colorblind and most colors look like a strange grayish hue, which is strange because no optometrist has ever seen that type of colorblindness. So that feeling of ecstasy can only be broken when the dealer of the table has to awkwardly pull you to the side and explain to you calmly that you just lost your entire great uncle's inheritance. But it turns out that it was all just a dream. So you wake up, go to a corner store and buy a scratch ticket because you just know you're gonna win this one. Number six. This.
Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Mom! I'm hungry! Mom died in 2008. I don't care! guys oh nice thanks for the donation Billy yeah keep them coming man nice <coughs> number five that time in 2009 when Tiger Woods cheated on his wife number four the 2001 classic Brendan Fraser film monkey bone number three number two a, th a thrilling intense game of Scrabble triple word score that sounds like my kind of night. What the fuck? Who are you? What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh. Ow, 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 fuck! Ow, shit! Oh. Now it's time for our honorable mentions. And as always here at Top 10, we only have one honorable mention. Bubbly. That's right, I'm still not drinking LaCroix until they give me money. But come on guys, we share the same name. <coughs> oh, now it's time for the in memoriam. Now it's the moment that you guys have all been waiting for. Number one. Meatloaf. <laughs> Just kidding. That wasn't the real number one. You guys got tricked, didn't you? Let's do a countdown to the real number one. Are you ready, Andre? Ready? 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8, 8 7, 7, 7, 6, 5, 5, 5 4, 4 Four, three, two, one. Thank you for watching Top Ten. Um, if you're not subscribed, be sure to go subscribe to Top Ten for more Top Ten. Thank you. This video was not sponsored by LaCroix.